is Brian Sangster. On my left, weighing in at 250 pounds from Syracuse, New York, Bruce Battaglia. His opponent tonight at 288 pounds from Santa Fe, New Mexico, a bruiser, Brody. Messiah, you tell me, do they get any meaner, any bigger, any badder than this man from Santa Fe, New Mexico, Bruiser Brody? I don't know. Every time I look at this man, I can't believe how more and more ugly he gets, and more vicious, and more tenacious. Look at him in there right now. It's just evil lurking through. That's all he does. He yells through the whole match. This Bruce Battaglia, a, a big man himself, a good amateur background from Syracuse, New York, weighs 250 pounds, looks so small against Bruiser Brody. Oh, Bruiser Brody is, uh, what, six? Six foot six, he's 288 pounds, and he's in a good shape, and he stays in shape, and you can see his upper body, his thighs, and he keeps on yelling. Huh? What, are, what are they saying? Uh, it seems like some kind of motivation. Look at that chop, and Batalla is leveled. Another one coming. Look at that. You can hear that throughout this near-packed arena. And you can tell that's going to take a toll. You hit that Adam's apple, it cuts off that oxygen to the brain, and you start to lose control of all your senses. And here is a front face lock, one of the most dangerous holds in professional wrestling. Referee Brian Sangster just about uh, out of position. Every hole that uh, Brody gets you into is dangerous. See, now watch Batalla. He's going to hit him. He's going to hit him as hard as he possibly can, and it's not going to injure Brody. The man doesn't feel pain. Oh, look at that boot right to his chest. This is an incredible specimen, no Bruce doubt about it. Bruce is down, and I think he's going to be out pretty soon. Uh oh here comes a power slam. He threw him around like a paperweight, and he's still yelling. <laughs> It's like he's playing football all day. He's calling signals. He looks like he's having a good time. Another body slam. And Bruiser Brody can do this all day. This is a man who has traveled literally, Messiah, throughout the world, has packed arenas, and has wrestled the best in this business. All over the world. Currently, he just came back from Japan, he told me, and there wasn't anyone who could take his ability in that ring. Now, wait a minute. Bruiser Brody talked to you? Well, he gave me sign language. He gave you sign language. Now, that was my question. Does this man communicate? And if so, how? Look at him. He seems to have no fear of the fans, of the wrestlers, anybody. He's outside that ring now. Come on, get him inside there. Get that count. Come on, disqualify him. We don't want anyone else to get now hurt. Look at him. Here, this is classic this Bruiser Brody. Unbelievable. Him and the Iron Sheik. That, that evil that lurks within them. Both of them come from the same school. And the mad Russian, I think they're corrupting him too. Now look, Brody looking around for some fans to fight as he chases after fans. He's in there to fight this man, Battaglia. And Come on, ref, get him back him. in there. Oh, sidekick right to his face. Battaglia oh. attempts to fight back, but this is of no use. Bruce is in a lot of trouble right now. You can tell by his face. I mean, he's just throwing him around. He's just toying with him. Come on, ref, get control. Get him in that ring. I think it's pretty clear Brody is, is using this man, Battaglia, as a... As a, as a some kind of a signal to send to the superstar Richard Byrne. Who knows what is behind the mind, the, the, the twisted mind of this man, Bruiser Brody. You just look at him. The hair do I don't think he's had a haircut in uh, six years. He must go to the same barbary school as you. Oh, thanks. I knew that would come sometime. Well, without the glasses. Though. Without the glasses. Uh, thank right. you, Iron Messiah. Now, here we go. As, you, as oh. many fans may recall, last week you had, you had very little criticism of the Iron Sheik, and here you are seeming to come down on the side of Bruiser Brody. Well, the, t t the tactics are the same, but the Brody is a little bit more of an animal than the Iron Sheik. He has to be controlled, because once he gets on a roll, there's no one that's going to stop him. Yeah. Come on, ref, get control. Get control of this man. The referee is following Brody outside the ring, back in, back out, and still has no control. And here goes Brody. Who knows what this will be? He's still yelling. He's still talking. He's coming up with something right now, and I think this could be the end of Bruce Battaglia. 
Here it comes. This is it. He's showing off. He's holding him up there. Him up. And, oh, oh, that's it. Incredible smash to the top of the head. This that's is going to be a three count. It's all over right now. It's all she wrote. Bruce is gone. Look at that's that. That's it. Thing. Unbelievable. You see the power, the strength. He's still looking into the camera, making faces. Is he ugly? He looks like he was whooped with an ugly stick. Bruiser Brody has so many moves. That pile driver won have so many devastating moves, and he's not going to move until the referee threatens he's him. He's not even getting off of Bruce. Come on, ref, get him off. Uh, all right, we'll be right back with an interview with Bruiser Brody and myself.